Hi guys, do you remember when I interpreted this scene as La Cumbre Vieja or La Cumbre Volcano? Um, possibly pointing to the volcano in the Canary Islands erupting and splitting, causing a landslide into the ocean, which then generates a tsunami. Well, there's something similar. Not exactly the same as I was talking about, but it does share the name, La Cumbre, and it is in the Galapagos Islands, just off the coast of Ecuador. So it's in the Pacific, the same place where Kilauea is erupting, with two roots connected together. Could give us an indication of two volcanoes erupting in the same kind of vicinity, in terms of Kilauea and, excuse me, and the Cumbre. So, I'm looking at that and I'm thinking, it's possible that that interpretation was correct. Maybe just a little bit off skew in terms of looking at Vieja because that's a more uh, popular volcano, one that's been looked at a lot more. There's a lot more documentaries and information on it. Um, I haven't really heard anything in terms of future events with La Cumbre, but the name is it's the same with like Jesus for um, February the 14th. You know, the name was there, but it wasn't his first name, it was his middle name. There was a shooting, but it wasn't Donald Trump. It was on February the 14th and it was a Valentine's Day massacre. All of that was taken from the chalkboard in the iPad Goat video. Um, not every single thing was correct, but more than one thing was correct, which, you know, you don't just guess these things. I don't just, I can't just guess them and take them out of the blue. I'm looking at the information and interpreting them. So when I said months ago that this L and the A that's scratched into the ground down here, which is barely visible, and the C and the V could interpret to La Cumbre Vieja or La Cumbre Vieja Volcano, we're now seeing something that could be connected. So I just wanted to bring that to your attention. At the same time, we've got um, a 5.3 magnitude uh, earthquake, which was generated by um, eruption at the Kilauea Volcano, sparking fears among scientists um, because the crater is collapsing and has collapsed. So it just gives even more opportunity for something to be fired in there. The volcano is extremely unstable over... I don't even know the number now, but at last count, it was over 12,000 earthquakes since the volcano started erupting on May the 3rd. Um, for the last six days in a row, it has had earthquakes that have measured magnitude 5 or above. So the potential for this, for a piece of the island to, to break off is still there. That hasn't dissipated. Um, the dates, they are guesses. I'm guessing the dates. I look at these things. I look at the interpretations. Um, or I look at the information that I'm showing in these videos and I interpret them. So in terms of dates, not all of them has been correct, but March the 31st was correct, February the 14th was correct. Um, we did see escalation in the Middle East in reference to March 31st. We did see a Valentine's Day massacre on February the 14th. So not all the dates are correct, but some of them have been, and a lot of the information has been correct as well. So it's just something that needs to be uh, continu continually watched. Um, I will be keeping an eye on this uh, La Cumbre volcano in the Galapagos Island, mainly because I think it does connect with this scene here um, at the same time as Kilauea is erupting. We still have the scenario that is possible in reference to the tsunami um, in relation to the 5.3 magnitude earthquake that occurred here. It did have the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center rushing to quickly tell people that there was no tsunami threat from this um, earthquake. But if you recall... It wasn't too long ago they were telling us there was no chance of an earthquake. Now, to be fair, that wasn't the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center. That was the Volcano Observatory people. But it's clear that a tsunami is possible. The earthquake just has to be big enough. And, and it seems to be getting there. Last six days, 5.0s and above. That, they're not small earthquakes. And they're only getting bigger. So, you guys, keep your eyes open. Possibly La Cumbre is where we may see some form of tsunami type event occurring afterwards. When exactly afterwards, I'm not sure. But to have La Cumbre, at least, and Volcano interpreted months ago, which is now erupting in this high watch period, I don't think it's a coincidence. You guys have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and God bless.